Welcome back to Footballology. So I have another 2021 NFL draft prospect for you guys to take a look at. I'm extremely excited about him. I've been doing my research and trying to find out as much as I possibly can. And like I told you guys in previous videos, I've learned a lot this offseason as far as scouting and finding other players and just really digging deep into like the basket of prospects, if you will. And Rico Kennedy was one of the guys that I stumbled across at HBCU Morgan State. This guy... I, I didn't know how to explain them at first. Like, I literally didn't know how to go about trying to explain them to you guys so you guys can understand how I think, how good he is, if that makes sense at all. I think he's really good. I think he's amazing, actually. I had to reach out to him, and I asked him what was his natural position. And, and if you guys take a look at the video clip I'm putting in the description box below, you'll understand why I say that. He looks really good and clean coming off the edge as far as being an edge rusher. But I think he really looks, for me personally, I think he really looks good in the middle linebacker role and really just allow him to come on the blitz, allow him to drop back in coverage. Showing his athleticism and versatility was just something that I couldn't get away from. Like, it was amazing how versatile he is within the defense itself. Now, the first thing that came to mind, and I'm not saying he's this guy, but the first thing that came to mind was Jamie Collins and how the New England Patriots actually used him in so many different ways. And that's just Bill Belichick scheming up how to use his personnel. And with Rico Kennedy, he gives you that flexibility within your offense. He allows you to pit him at the outside linebacker position and sit him on a, a fake blitz and drop him back into coverage or pit him in a middle linebacker position and allow him to stay, take away a tight end or take away a running back, which I've seen him do several times as well. Now, granted, I understand he's coming from an HBCU, so the level of competition isn't as high, and that's going to be always the first knock on guys like him. But I really feel like he could play at the next level. I feel like he has an opportunity with the right defense coordinator or the right defense to be in a scheme that's going to allow him to be versatile, allow the defense coordinator to be versatile, and use his athleticism to their advantage. This guy is amazing, I think, personally. I, I didn't get to get any of his HBCU combine numbers. Actually, I couldn't find anywhere at all. So if you guys can help me out and find some HBCU combine numbers, because I was looking everywhere, top to bottom, and I couldn't come across it at all. But I really feel like that even if he didn't test well, he's a guy that shows up on tape on a consistent basis. He actually came off a really two thousand, a good, strong 2019 season where he put up a, a butt ton of stats in my personal opinion. He had 16 TFLs, had two interceptions, and a bunch of tackles. This guy was forever around the ball one way or another, either getting after the quarterback or stopping in the run. i definitely like to see him at the next level. Unfortunately, I think he's probably going to go – the at best seventh round but end up being undrafted so that's going to give him the leeway to actually pick his team and give him the best chance to really be in a position to hopefully get his talent shown at the next level i definitely feel like he's a guy that has the height has the size has the speed to play at the next level so i'm really excited to see what he's going to do definitely check him out for yourself let me know what you think in the comment section below and like i always say if there's another prospect for you guys that want me to look at i would definitely go look at them and check them out don't hesitate i want to know more and i'm really learning more about hbcus and that's where a lot of my focus has been at for like the last couple of weeks and also my mock draft will be coming out next week round one one through 16 which i'm really nervous and excited for as always but hey if you guys are not a footballologist go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel today become a footballologist and stay safe, football fans.